In this video, I just want to get you up and started using the Garmin Basecamp software on your PC. It's a really useful piece of software. It goes very well with whatever Garmin device you might use whilst out walking. But it can just be a little bit difficult to get going at first to understand how the Basecamp software works. So in this video, I'm just going to take you really quickly through setting up a track on your PC that you can later on transfer to your Garmin device to go out walking. Now, the first thing you'll see here is I've got a map displayed on my screen. If you go to the top where it says maps, you have a choice here. Now, the global map it comes with is a very bog standard map with roads and things on. But if you're serious about your walking, you'll probably want to purchase one of their other maps. I'm using the British Isles plus contours map. It's not got lots of detail from the topography point of view, but it's actually very accurate and really useful for looking at footpaths and th things like that. So I'm using this map. OK. With the map on here, you can see that we've got roads, footpaths, streams, lakes, things like that actually shown. So first thing you need to do is navigate on the map to part of the country you want to go walking in. And then the best thing to do at first is to set up a track. A track is like lots of little breadcrumbs around your map that actually take you from point to point around the map to actually produce a walk. When you actually are using your Garmin out and about, you're actually recording tracks at that time and it just puts lots of little points on a map so that it can actually join them up and make a walk for you. So at the top here, the little symbol here with the little footprints is new track. I'm going to click on that. And you'll see that when you go to the map, your cursor has turned into a little pencil. So I can decide where I want to start my walk here. Click one point, and that's my first little breadcrumb trail. And I can now drag and move along here. And every time I click, it's a point where there's a slight deviation in my track. And I want to keep marking it. So I'm dragging my mouse and clicking dragging and clicking all the way around. So when it's nice and straight, you don't need to worry too much about adding extra points. But when there's extra sort of deviations, you might want to do it. So I'm taking it down to here on the footpath where there's a junction. I found myself a little track here that I want to go along. Uh, that's a nice straight one, so I can go take myself here. Maybe pull it back here because there's a bit of a kink in that road. Take it back, take it back, take it back. Back here, back here. And then I'm going to click where I very first started to complete the whole circuit in this case. And when I've finished, I press my escape key on the keyboard so that I'm no longer drawing that map. I'm going to change back just to the hand here so I'm not trying to draw another track and you'll see here that I've got a track moving around I haven't called it or any, a name or anything at the minute it's just a simple little track if you go down to your collection and your collection is all your different tracks routes and whatever else you've saved onto your base camp software and you see here this is the track that I've just created and I'll give that a new name so I can recognize it. So right click, rename and track example one, press enter and there it is. If I double click on that, I get some information about the track and there we've got the properties tab shows how many points there are. Those are little breadcrumb things when you clicked. How far the walk is and the area is the area within that walk. And for each of the different points that we clicked on the map, it shows you how far it is, what direction we're going and your map reference for that. The graph 
this case isn't very useful but when you've actually been out for a walk it will show you how high you've gone notes if you want to pay, put some notes etc about that or link it to a file or to a web page just to give some more information about it then you can so there we go we've created a track now you'll see in the pane on the top left here you've got my collection that is all of your information and if you right click there you can actually create a new list and a list is just a collection within your main collection of different walks so if you're on a particular holiday you might have new forest lists or um, Scottish Islands lists something like that and if you want to you can also create folders to keep those lists in for this one I'm going to create a new list I'm going to call it um, South England and then I have that list and you see I've got it selected there's nothing here it's saying it's empty so if I go back to my main collection I'll scroll down to the one we just found and we called that track example one I'm going to select that and then hold down my mouse button and drag it up to South England and you'll see it's actually putting it in that list and that way I've got a list of walks in the south of England and I've got that first walk that we just created so in this video we've created a track we have created a new list to group it and we have saved our new track onto that list so that's the end of the first example.